Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, it's Alex, and it's time now for the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that there is, as you can see under his picture, Chuck Farnham. Ooh. Chuck Farnham uh, used to be part of our morning show in San Francisco, and now he's part of this. Uh, and you look rather made up today. You look. Uh, I know. I. I you thought have a about nice this shirt, all week, Alex. nice shirt, and hairs, and I, I have a dollar ninety nine invested in this shirt, and I look like you know I threw up in the middle of a Grateful Dead concert or something. Yeah, but it, it, it's good for yeah. a buck. Yeah, I couldn't. So. Now all we do have to do is get that tooth fi fixed. To, to yeah, I don't know, good. man. Huh? I'm it, getting used to you're it. You're kind of looking like David Letterman. I know, yeah. with a little more gap. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. Do you go for dentures at some point? I mean, to fix this, they mm -hmm. want to put in an implant. Implant. Which I think you have, you have implants, right? Yeah. Do you ever, have you ever had one come out? No. I know three people now that have had an implant come out. For, last time we talked, two people. Really? No, I have three. They really? fall out. I never, I never heard of that sort of thing. I, that's got to come out of your jaw. What, a pot, what about implant don't they get? I I don't know. I know. Well, one guy definitely went to Brazil or something, but everybody else, United States. And they just fall out. They like, I, they screw that into your jaw, right? Yeah, but it, it shouldn't fall out. I mean, it, it could be how, how good a job did the guys do? I mean, sometimes these places will try to speed the process up because it should be you get the tooth pulled and then you have to wait three months and right, then, right, you, right. then they then they screw that thing in there and then you have to wait another three months for that to like grab hold just right and then you put in the crown now some places because people don't so want to wait that long it? they just do it really fast and you know, nothing has time. In your mouth for three months what you have it when that medium thing you have a screw sticking out of your mouth for three months while it oh, yeah it's evil? covered it's covered by a cap okay you know it's not, it's not you don't feel the screw in there right you still feel kind of the emptiness and they can i think put in a temporary tooth if they want to but you don't right. have to okay so i have a little thing that i can put in that will cover that and look like a tooth but i can't talk well they had a, they had a thing i forget what they called them but when I first got my first uh, right. implant, uh, my dentist put this thing in, which was like a fake tooth. It cost me yeah, 750 yeah, yeah. bucks, but it was a fake tooth, and you just, it was called clippers. That's what they were called. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have. I have one of those. Well, clippers, I, I when I use the clipper, I put it in every morning and forget it was there, you know? And uh, finally, when it came to, putting in the final implant, I said, why can't we just stick with the clippers, you know? Yeah, and I mean, the guy was like, "You maybe you want this, maybe you don't. I could never talk with a thing in my mouth. I sounded, I was like. Well, well you couldn't weird. talk with the clipper? No, I was like. Blah, blah, oh, blah, and then blah, they blah. didn't do a good job of making the clipper because mine, they make a mold and everything like that. Yeah, they did know? that whole thing. Well, I had no problem once I, I wake up in the morning, take the thing out, go, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and it was there for the rest of the day, and I could talk, and I didn't. I could chew. I could do everything. Well, I got some. I got some issues with my dentist, anyway. So. Yeah. Well, I have issues with everybody. He was fine before. Every but professional that I have, I have issues with. I have issues with my neurologist. I have issues with my uh, a lawyer. Uh, my. Uh, I don't really have issues with my accountant. He's pretty pretty yeah. smart. But I mean, I have scary. issues with a lot of the professionals in my life because uh, I, I, it's not like they're really professionals, you know? Well, it's called practicing medicine for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, once mean, they get it right, they're dead. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, worst case scenario is you don't come back next week because you passed away. 
I I had my, my urologist and I are in about a week or so going to have a lovely conversation that he doesn't want to hear. So I'm sure it'll be really? very interesting. About what? They they keep sending me for um, CAT scans for my kidney. Oh, okay. And because I had that the hematoma. Thing. Actually, you don't have to have uh, what what they send you CT scans for your kidneys. Actually, they. They can just do uh, they can do sonograms on those. You, you would think so, but yeah. they keep sending me back. First, they do it without contrast. Then they decide they need contrast, which okay, fine. You can't see what you're looking for, whatever. Right, right. So, I go back for contrast, and now they've decided they need a different contrast. It's like, can't you just? We all tuned the back of the TV back in the '70s, can't you? You know, tune the back of your goddamn CAT scan machine and see what you need to see. And then, like, I I asked the guy, and he goes, not him, but the the CAT scan guy. I said, I said, uh, am I gonna die? I keep coming in here for you know this stupid test. And he goes, you're not gonna die. And I go, why are we taking the test then? Exactly. Exactly. And this minute, and and this whole little scenario started. The minute I turned 65 and had um, uh, Medicare. Medicare. Well, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. I, I think I may have told you or not told you, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing again because everybody who listens to the show has heard it a thousand times about the fact that my doctor took, my neurologist took a blood test I didn't ask him to take. He was actually taking another blood test, and he added this one on. He said, oh, I don't know about this. You have to go You have to go to a, a oncologist, a hematologist. And I'm going, okay, yeah. yeah Where right. do you want me to go? He says, here, go to this guy. So it was a thing called the uh, the Cancer and Blood Specialist. And they couldn't even draw blood out of me. It took four stabs in my arm in order to get blood out of me, okay? And the guy sees me for under an hour and then sends a bill to um, uh, Medicare for $5,000, okay? Uh, yeah. did a whole bunch of blood tests on me, about 20 different blood tests in-house, charged for all of those. Yeah, that's what this guy is doing it all in-house. And and then he never calls me with the results. Never nice. calls me with the results. And uh, eventually his nurse called about two months later, and I said, no, I don't want to have a follow-up uh, meeting with him. Follow-up with no information? Because I, I didn't get the results of my tests. And he said, oh, well, that was probably because uh, uh, it, there was nothing to report. And I went, well, then that's what you tell me. You call right, me right. and you tell me that. Well, anyway. You get an A or an uh, F okay. on the test, you still I, get it back. I don't want to go through that story again right, because people right. have heard it and they just heard it again kind of in a fast version. Yeah. No, no, no. I and I, I then have a meeting with my neurologist, the one that sent me over there, my six right. months. So I'm over there and I say, I got a bone to pick with you. Why'd you send me to that goddamn quack? Yeah. You know? And I told him the whole story, and he went, well, he's really a very good doctor. We go to the same synagogue together. Bingo. And I went, you know, is my life dependent on who you pray to God with? You yeah, know? apparently so. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. And I couldn't convince him that this guy was really doing bad. That he, right. he, was, he was milking me for every penny he could get. He says, well, that's probably the corporation he works for because his hospital, which is not hospital, but this office, which was beautiful, um, is owned Mind by a corporation and he's hired by a corporation to work there and they have to meet certain quotas. Yeah. You know, and, 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 quota. and you go, come on, this isn't medicine. This is just whole whole scale uh, scale right. thievery. He knows, he knows that Medicare won't question it because there's too much stuff going through Medicare at any given minute. Yeah. He had nothing to deal with it. Yeah, it, it's going to get his check. Yeah. Well, I go in. I, I finally am going to see. I'm like, I'm not taking any more tests until I see the doctor. And when I see the doctor, at least one of the two of these uh, MRI, CAT scan things, they're going to have to back out of the payment to Medicare because I there's no reason to pay this. They didn't do anything other than give me yet another test and go. Yeah, we need another test. 
It's like, no, the picture just, uh, we don't think there's anything. And don't you have to go all the way to Reno or something for that? Oh, yeah, it's two hours. It's two hours. Yeah, you don't, you can't just do it in, where are you? Uh, you're, no, 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 you're, no, no. You're in where? No. You're Fallon, no. are you? Yeah, you don't want to do that. No. Good for a cow or sheep or if you need antibiotics down at the feed and grain store. Yeah. But you really want to go to a place that's got big buildings. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, but I mean, if you're going to do this, it's got to be for a reason, not be, not for grins. Yeah, I immediately, you know, all of a sudden I'm 65. All of a sudden, these high-end tests start showing up. I'm like, Wait uh, you're, you're right. Ha that's when it happened to me too. Yeah. You know, um, it's like we're not stupid. We can see you guys. See, there was a time when you went to doctors, and they saw you, and that was sufficient for them to make a decent amount of money, a couple bucks, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and they were happy with that. But what happened is. They've been so screwed by Medicare, more by the insurance companies, believe it or not, than Medicare. They're, yeah. they're worse than Medicare. And uh, they can't make a living. They'd like to make a living, but they're not yeah. making a living. And that bothers them. And I don't blame them. But it's not my fault. Right. It's not, and, and you don't see, a, you know, all you're trying to be is healthy until you're, you know, dead. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. I yeah. want to be healthy. Tell me the right thing to do. Don't, don't, you know, give me, I'm, I'm scared of you, you people anyway. So, you know, you go in there and, or even like my mom and stuff, Yeah. she'll go to the doctor and she'll come in and go, you know, I, I, I think that guy is lying to me. I don't think he's telling me the truth. And I'm like, uh, it's practicing medicine, mom. Or, you know, they're. Yeah, it, it, he'll, they're he'll, ca it, he'll call, call you when he's got it right. Yeah, they yeah. never tell you, you know, this is the answer. They're always going to try something. Hey, let's well, try this. Well, try me at, at 83. I had I had prostate cancer, okay? Right. Uh, they did the radiation. They did the seeds. It's non-existent. I mean, so far, all my tests come back perfect, okay? Right. Yet I look at my doctor's report, my neurologist's report, and he says, and the subject has cancer has cancer right well no i don't exactly have cancer right I, if, if anything you could say it's in remission but exactly. I, but i don't have cancer at the present right. time knock on wood hopefully it'll stay that way sure. uh, but they all think hey you know we got to check everything because this guy may have cancer you know, right. He had prostate cancer, so maybe that's spread and blah blah blah. They don't or even know the they don't even now. know the situation. I was, we caught mine very early, right? You know, um, and they well, have you ever noticed in the urology office that everybody's staring at the floor in there? No. Next time you go to your urologist, well, I'll tell you, up. I my I hated urology. I just hated uh, the them. They're uh, gross. Uh, well, uh, uh, I hated I them because... Woman, I have a woman urologist that's even weirder. Oh, really? Well, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm like, what do you say when you go home to your husband? Yeah. <laughs> you spent the entire day in Europe. She goes, my dad calls me a penis doctor. Well, uh, he doesn't. she doesn't just do males, does she? She does females. Females have urinary sure, sure, problems. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. But anyway, so I hated them. Just hated them. I had one that used to... I think twice gave me two cystoscopies, just because my test didn't, blood test didn't come back just right. right. And I'm going, geez, what is with this guy? You know, uh, because the cystoscopy he could charge five hundred bucks for. Right. See? So I mean, that was a one urologist. I went to another urologist. He was bogus. Finally, I went to this guy I'm going to now. I love him. I absolutely, he is the best. He is a decent, fine doctor, okay? And I never thought I'd say that about a urologist. In fact, I've been yeah. thinking of seeing if he could be my primary physician because he's he's that good and he's that caring. But it took yeah. me forever to find that in urologists. A little bit of empathy and, really goes a long way when the guy's got your dick in his uh, hand. Well, I told him the story about all the bad luck I've had with urologists, and he said, I have to admit it, we're a pretty weird bunch. No he kidding. He said, of all the, uh, uh, of all the um, uh, professions in medicine, 
the people who practice urology are usually pretty weird. So yeah, I can, yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. My guy was good, and he moved away, and then I had a the guy who was it was he was too old, and he put a they had a catheter in me for because I had uh, kidney stones, and so he's got. I go in to get the catheter out. The guy doesn't bring the nurse in to do it. You know, they have that little bubble in there that keeps the catheter in place, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He decides to take it out without that. Just jerk on it. Now, he's pulling and pulling and pulling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, it looks like Jackson Pollock on the wall in the, in the, uh, in the room. I mean, it was bright red. There is blood everywhere. And, and it was a he didn't know how to remove one of those catheters I think no, he, no, he didn't I think, he I, just, no I think he just let the air out of it yeah you would think and so so now this nurse comes in and she's like 18 it looks like her first day and she's patting me on the shoulder going it's going to be okay it's going to be okay I go you're going to have to repaint this room there's so much blood on the wall and on the floor and she's like, no, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And the doctor's gone. He just, once the blood starts, he leaves. And so now I'm bleeding out in there, you know? And it's like, so fine, it all goes away. And then I get a, an appointment. You know, they're, you know, it's going to be a follow-up. Follow-up, yeah. They go, they call me, and I'm like, I ain't going to see that guy again. And they're like, why? And I go, it was a mess in that room. It was crazy. And that now I get a call from his assistant going, you know, we're really concerned that you won't go see him again. And I'm like, it hurt like hell. I was screaming to that, you know? And and they're like, okay, are you sure you don't want to try him again? And I'm like, no, 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 this, it was scary. Blood on wall, come on. Blood on wall, yeah, no, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, let's not do this again. Okay, God, you know, I don't I go, know. Yeah. by the way, have you noticed in your waiting room, Everybody's staring at the ground. It's like they're all scared here. What the hell? Maybe they're scared of him. Wow. That's a, weird. That's amazing, you know. But anyway, so, I mean, uh, but these people are professionals. And they, oh, and, and they don't act professional. I find that even my, my uh, uh, primary care physician, who I've had for years, yeah. uh, who I've liked over the years, has gotten worse and worse and worse. Because the older? business is no, the business has gotten worse and worse and uh, worse. You know, like he still has his own practice. Most doctors go to work at hospitals now, mainly yeah, because they don't want to have to do they don't want to have to do billing. They, you know, it saves them a lot of money. They just you know right. get their little white coat, bring it to work, and see people for eight hours, and they go home and they get a, right. maybe two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. You know. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's uh, my guy is now retiring. Oh, here, here was the best. Here was the best. You want to hear about incompetence? This wasn't the part of the doc there. My, my uh, oncologist, uh, urologist, who did the, uh, the, the what do you call it, the um, uh, radiation and the seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, I go in to get the seeds done, and they've got me all prepped. I got the, the, the you know, the, the apron Let's on or whatever up. that thing is they yeah, give yeah. you and and uh, they've asked me all the questions they need to ask before the the and so i'm just waiting i want to get this thing over with right right so um we get a call and it's from the doctor he said we may have to cancel the procedure today he said i'll come down and explain why i'm going I was getting ready for this. I was all, you know, I was all Right, yeah, you're all paranoid for I, three days or well, five you, days. I want to get it done, right? No, you know, he doesn't do it that way, right? So, um, he comes down and he says to me, I really have to apologize. He said, you know, we have a little device that goes between your penis and your anus, right. the taint. It's a... It's a, but it's a little device they put in there so that when they then insert the needles to insert the seeds, uh, they have a, a guide that can go right. through. He sure. said they forgot to order one of those. So it's, nice. you know, I'll let you know when we can reschedule. 
So eventually I got a call re rescheduled for a week later and I had the procedure done and I was lucky I had it done because the next day they closed down the hospital those kind of procedures because of COVID. Oh geez. So I got in right under the wire. You know. I yeah. It's like what were you thinking, people? You know. But I mean I, but I mean the hospital forgot to order this particular right. object. You know, and he, he does, it's not like I was the only seed operation right. that day. He's, you know, he does tons of them. So they should have tons of them in supply. But it's just a right. little thing about like that. Right. A little guide like they use for woodworking. Yeah, so. yeah. But he needs it, you know, otherwise he can't do it. So can't you do it from I, memory? I <laughs> use, I don't know if you can see it. I use one of these aura rings. What's that? This thing is, uh, matter of fact, I'll send you some information. It's it's kind of like the eye health thing, except it, it gives me massive amounts of data every day about how I'm doing. What? But yeah, yeah, it's, you know, you, know, you can't, I don't know if you can see. You see, I can do a lot with my watch, you know. Yeah, see, I don't wanna, I keep not wearing the watch, or, you know, at night, it, the battery dies. I don't know if you can see the, mm -hmm. can't really see the inside of this thing too well in this light, but um, it's all electronics inside here. And I just wear the ring and every morning I get up and it'll tell me how I slept, when I woke up, how deep my sleep was, how I did, um, how my, you know. My watch walking. does that for me though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my Apple watch did it for me, but I just... Every day I got to get up and put the watch on, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just, this I don't even have to think about. I just get up, hit my button, and I can see this massive detailed display of everything. Wow. And it's all off the ring. Wow. Well, how much does the ring cost? How, how, how much does the ring cost? Like 300 bucks. 300 bucks? Yeah. Oh, because I got this watch, and it does all that, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 can, I think this thing was 300 bucks. I can test my blood oxygen level. Yeah, yeah, I get I get all that on here. Well, but I can get that on the watch. Yeah, that's I had I have an Apple Watch, but I just couldn't. I've never really worn a watch, so I can't talk myself into wearing one. I'll forget to put it on. I'll you know, and it died in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping. Yeah. So I don't get the sleep data. This thing goes three or four days without needing a charge. You know what I'm thinking of buying, of going out and getting? We don't have a pet in the house. And I've suggested that we go out and adopt, okay, a former cadaver dog. Okay. And the reason is, is that when he's around the house, if he starts staring at me, I know I don't have much time left. Yeah, yeah. If he starts <laughs> gulping you out. When he starts going, woof, woof. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Something to think about. I keep going. I really want to take a train ride. I want to take the train across the country. Can we come see you? Maybe you know, because I'm 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 in a spot where I can get on Amtrak. The problem is Amtrak is the dumbest, least organized place to go anywhere on the planet. You can't figure out how much it costs, or where it's going, or when it's going to get there. But if you get the, they have little apartments on the train, they feed you first class m meals all the way across for nothing. And you get to live in this, I don't want to hang out with the riffraff, you know? Mm -hmm. I got my little condo on the train and live in there yeah. for my week or two or, you know, cause I don't fly. So I've been dying to do this. So I, I'm now back on the, uh, I have books. Yeah, on the only track. problem, the only problem with traveling by train in America, and I would do it, Except that if you've ever been to Europe, uh, I'm sorry, traveling by train is super fast. I mean, they're going 120 right. miles an hour. Amtrak right. barely gets above 50. Right, and they if have you're to stop. lucky, what? They have to stop every time there's a freight. The freight trains all have right of way. So. Mm -hmm. If a freight train is coming, they pull over and wait until the freight train, and then they take they off. They should just again. build, you know. And and I asked somebody, and they said that the trains that they currently have are capable of those speeds, but yeah. not on those tracks. Yeah, that's the problem. So yeah, it's yeah. 
I keep yeah. trying, I keep, and it's yeah. going to happen. I am going to do this, and all the food is free on the train when what? you have the little, yeah, when you have the condo. Well, I'll ask you about that the next time we talk. But we've run out of time here. Wow, that was quick. That was quick, wasn't it? So much fun and, and all, medical. and so painless. Stick around; yeah. we'll do another one. But I don't sure. want to ruin the magic for the audience. He'll be here next week or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Farnham. Thank you, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, hello. Oh, I got to turn on my uh, my lights. There we go. Oh, and I'm frozen. Oh, I'm frozen because I'm. Oh God, I hate this. I just hate this. I've been having all kinds of problems with uh, the cameras. And the fact that they, uh, let me see here, let me get this here. We can do this, and then I can do this. And I put the Logitech Brio in here, and there we are. Uh, and we here we are. There we go. Okay, all right. Are you happy? I'm happy. Let me just do one more thing here. What do I got to do? Um, yeah, I got to move some stuff over here. It's uh, it's like uh, when I'm doing it all my by myself. This is like a pain in the ass, you know. It really is. There we go. Okay, I had to change cameras. I can't use my the camera I always use because it's uh, not uh, uh, not uh, working. So whatever. Ever. Uh, I am in terrible shape tonight, folks, and I'll, I'll tell you why as soon as we get some people on here. Uh, because uh, it uh, it's um, well uh, let me let me first let me get some people here uh, but be, 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 be. where do I where do I go I'm just so out of it here I'm so I'll tell you why I'm out of it too um, let me see here I have to go there and then I oh I see what I gotta do here I gotta go to the zoom panel and then I got to go hit the panel uh, and uh, uh, invite these people in, admit all. Uh, that would be Kevin and Charlie Wallace. Uh, and um, hi, how are you? I'm doing good. You're doing good. How about you, Kevin? All right, how are you? Yeah, good, good, good. It's just, uh, I well, not good, actually. Um, oh, God. I'm in, uh, in somewhat pain. Let me explain it to you. I'm walking down the street yesterday with Marjorie. Guess what? I trip. Uh -oh. I trip. Uh oh. And I fall, fall. And I first I scrape one leg with two giant scrapes. Okay, which you're now mm -hmm. starting to coagulate and heal. Okay, they don't hurt. They don't hurt. Then I somehow the other leg I twisted or something, and I can't walk on it today. I can barely walk on it. Wow! You know, um, I've had to take some of Marjorie's pain pills to take care of it. So one of the reasons I'm kind of goofy here, and let me put you, your pictures on here. See, I'm I'm yeah. all I'm all screwed up here, folks. That's the reason why. And I just it's just been it's just agonizing. I couldn't I couldn't sleep last night because there was no way I could sleep without it hurting. Have you ever twisted your leg like that? Oh, Anybody? Yeah. Huh? Not my leg. Oh, yeah. Not my back like that. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take for your leg to heal from that, Kevin? It's still messed up. <laughs> oh, oh well, great. <laughs> no, it 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 depends on how you do it and what you do. Yeah. And, you know, obviously your age probably doesn't help. Not to make you feel any better, but... Yeah, yeah. So, you know... I, ice it, ice it, ice it. Yeah. Yeah, ice it? Okay. Yep. I do have some ice, but I don't have enough. So I've got to go yeah. out and get one of those ice things, you know. Yeah, CVS has those things you can freeze and then... Yeah. Yeah, I've got three of those, so I can always have one cold. Yep, two, and then you rotate them. Yeah. yeah. And that will take down the pain a bit? It'll knock down the swelling and stop the bleeding, because you always get bleeding inside. Well, I don't have any bleeding. It doesn't look like I have any bleeding inside. Well, internal bleeding. Internal bleeding? 
Yeah, because you usually tear something when you do that. Oh, boy. Well, you know, I didn't go to a doctor on this one. And I'm not a doctor, so I don't claim to be one. No, but I, I, I didn't go to a doctor on this one because I didn't really think I needed a doctor on it because it's, you know, it's the way Just it, watch the swelling. If it swells up, then you probably should go, but... Hmm? Well, just watch the swelling. It's swollen. Yeah. Yeah, get some ice on it because that'll keep the swelling down. Yeah. Yeah. I missed uh, the first part. What, what's wrong with your leg? Uh, you missed the first part, so we're not going to tell you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I heard you say you didn't have enough ice. Invite Phil over. A <laughs> cold visit. What do you, What do you mean, invite Phil over? That that that'll turn anything icy. <laughs> Everybody else is laughing. You get it, so. Yeah, I guess. I guess. But anyway, I'm so, sorry. you know, I mean, if well. it isn't one thing, it's, it's another, you know. Uh, so, oh, so point. today, I my 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 uh, lawyer yesterday sends me a note, and he says, uh, here's an affidavit. You have to go down and get it notarized. <laughs> and that's a block away. But with the way my leg is, a block is a long way away. So Marjorie holds my arm all the way down, and we walk down to this place and get the the, the uh, what do you call it done? The uh, notary notary, done, yeah. notary done on this on this document. Now, I come home and I I write my my I send it to my uh, attorney, and he sends me back a note and he says, uh, "How'd you like the thing we wrote?" I said, "It was terrific." I said. But I'm such a trooper that in order to take care of the notarization on this, I had to walk down the street with a leg that got completely trashed yesterday after a fall. And he writes me back, well, you do know you can go online for $25 and get any document notarized. Now, I don't understand how that works. Aren't you supposed to be there? They have what DocuSign now and all that stuff. I think you can get away with it now. Yep. Really? And then what do they do? Yep. They send me the completed it's official, document? Yeah, it's official documentation online. I know DocuSign is, is official, I think, if you, well, if you know, do it the right way. I know DocuSign. I know yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's official if you do it but the anyway, right way. But anyway, he said I didn't have to go down. I could have, I could have done it uh, online. So, But that's good to know for next time I break my leg, you know. So, Ouch. so I, I don't know if I should go to a doctor or not about it, but. You know, it's Marjorie says, nah, you know, you you just sprained it, you know, really bad. And that's why it swells up, right? Because it's sprained. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be a couple. Uh, it's broken. It'll swell up if it's broken. Huh? Yep. It'll swell up if it's broken. Yeah, I don't think it's broken, though. It doesn't, it, when I touch it and stuff, it doesn't hurt. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. When I push on it, it doesn't hurt. Little, little sensitivity, you know where it hit but it but it, it but it hurts when i stand up you know so i don't think that's broken how about when you put weight on it when i put weight on it it, uh, it hurts hurts like hell yeah i think i'd go get an x-ray just to be sure no no okay because i'd have to walk down to, to go get yeah. the x-ray <laughs> Tell them you're right. Alex Bennett. Bring what, the what part about uh, I, I was in great pain walking to get this notary, don't you get? Yeah, why can't you do the x-ray online? Yeah. yeah really. <laughs> Let me hold my knee up here. I'd just ride it out for, you know, a few days, put the ice 20 on, 20 off, and then yeah. run it for a few days, see what happens, and if it continues to, you know, mess with you, go get an x-ray next week. You're aware. Over there anything? You're on Wednesday now. If it's still bugging you next Monday, go get it done. Yeah. Well, well I mean, I'm, it'll probably still be hurting Monday, but not as much as what I. What right. That's saying. the thing. If, if it's still, if it's getting worse on Monday, you might want to go do it like Tuesday or something. Yeah. You have ibuprofen. Yeah. Uh, take that. That'll that'll help the swelling also. Gee, and, no and, kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Like I don't know from my ibuprofen, you know, um, but uh, 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 yeah, you know. The, uh, but I'm using Marjorie's um, heavy-duty medicine. 
Oh, that's better. Well, mm-hmm. it it does it doesn't stop it from hurting, but it doesn't hurt as much. But then after a couple hours, it does again. So you know, mm-hmm. and she doesn't want to lend me her, you know, pills because it could be di- if I take it too much. I said, if I take it too much, I become addicted. How old am I now? <laughs> can I have some, can I have some kind of an addiction? But anyway, well, it was no fun this this the fall that I did, and uh, I wish I could show you the uh, uh, the knee. It, it looks horrible. The other mm-hmm. knee, the other leg, where I oh, well, well, where, I, where yeah. I scraped it on the on the you know. But that doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt at all. You know, it just looks ugly. So anyway, you know, I I just not going out anymore. I'm not going for walks or anything. Um, but literally, I had to walk down there, and this thing was—I mean, this thing's painful. It stings, you know. So, yeah. yeah. So I guess it's just a—you know—I just probably, you know, what they call it, wrenched my ankle or something, or my knee, you know. Yeah. Was it your ankle or your knee? knee my knee. Yeah. My knee. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you didn't tear any ligaments in that. Or, yeah, meniscus or something like no, that. No, I don't think this is a meniscus. But, you know, I do. Have, we do have a, a doctor we can go to. I have a sports doctor we can go to for this. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. I'm sure it's probably just, you know, I probably, I may have, to, I may have torn a meniscus. That's possible. Yeah. Well, although I had a meniscus down there, and it was, uh, I tore it a long time ago. And it didn't, it felt different than this feels. Okay. So I don't think the meniscus got hurt again. So that, no, I'm sorry, feeling uh, hmm? not good. I said, I'm sorry that you're feeling not good. Yeah, well, I you're almost didn't, I almost good. didn't do a show tonight, but you know, um, I sitting, I'm not in, not in dire pain, you know, but after I get up, after sitting here for an hour and a half, yeah. it's going to be hell. Okay? So. You, look, you looked very handsome, though. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just as Suck I was up. feeling good again, you know, this has to happen. So, you know, anyway, uh, hopefully it will just, you know, slowly go away. If it just gets better by measure, I'll be happy. Hmm. But... Yeah. Oh, you see when I stretch like that? Oh, wow. See? Wow. Yeah. Then, then, then don't stretch like that. Yeah. yeah then don't do that. Right. And Brian do that. sounds like a doctor. That's what my doctor said. Doc, it hurts when I do this. Well, don't do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, um, what was the old story George Burns told about how he had a tick? And he kept going... <clears throat> <clears throat> kept clearing his throat <clears throat> so finally he figured maybe he better go see a doctor about it so he goes to see a doctor about it and tells the doctor the doctor said what's the problem he says <clears throat> well <clears throat> it seems that <clears throat> I'm doing this all the time <clears throat> he, and the doctor said well stop it and he said I never came back <laughs> you know so but anyway so I'm sitting here just in, uh, you know, I'm not in pain sitting down, but if I move to the side or something or just move the ankle, the knee slightly, it, you know, it gets bad. Why is it this show is all about Alex's medical problems? I don't know, but I can think of one thing we could talk about when you get done. And yeah. What, what might that be? Well, you remember that guy, Prigozhin, who challenged Putin? Oh, yeah, mm. that. Oh, that. Uh, apparently, he fell out of an airplane today. <laughs> what do you mean he, he tried fell? to fly, but it didn't. What? what do you mean he fell out of it? Now they saying no, he the fell whole out. plane crashed. Yeah. The whole plane crashed, and they think he was in it, but they don't oh, they know. They know he was in it now. They oh, they do know? He was in it, yeah. They do know he was in it. He oh. is dead. Yeah, Putin reported that he was in it. He made sure he was in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Putin doesn't make that kind of Let me ask I had, you guys, what? I had yeah. nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. You know, the minute we heard that story, we went, of mm-hmm. course. 
You know. don't know what don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you Just know, he, time. I'm surprised Putin does that because he knows the world is going to look at him and go, "Come on." <laughs> Yeah. We know what you I, did. Uh, I was in the bathtub. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. It, you know, the poison stuff doesn't work anymore for him, so he's just got to do it instantaneous deaths. Well, this plane, just you see the plane coming down? Yeah. They even have film of the plane coming down. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, but it's right. coming straight down. It's it, yeah. it's not one of those things where it's it's going down, 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 down. It's going like this. It's just dropping, yeah. Yeah. It's like a balsa wood plane was just flopping yeah yeah yeah, yeah that uh yeah but you, i don't know what you're talking about do you think putin had anything to do with it Nothing. not a doubt in my mind <laughs> not, not at all, all. <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about oh boy that's a guy you don't want to piss off you know if you piss him off you don't want to fly anywhere start up a car yeah. or <laughs> or, or eat or drink anything he sends you. Right, right. Yeah. right. No Porosky for me. <laughs> no Porosky. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. I'm starting to oh, get fast. a cramp now. <clears throat> oh. Put some ice on it. Yeah, do you have something stronger than ibuprofen? Yeah, but if I take it, I won't be able to do this show. Yeah, it's my wife's, it's my wife's pain medication. I, yeah, Norco. No, it's something really strong. Norco's pretty strong. Norco's pretty strong. Well, I don't know wow. what it is. I don't know what it is. Okay. But, but it, 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 it helps a little bit. It doesn't help a lot, but it helps a little bit. And I only take a half a pill because I, at a time because I don't want to, you know. So if I, but if I take, took, take the pill right now, by the end of this hour, I'd be talking to myself, you know, I'd be blabbing. Not that that's not the case all the time anyway, but, you know. But, uh, yeah. So Jack didn't do a show last night. No, uh, you know, it, 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 incidentally, I mean, I just, uh, I, I went and somebody that I met on the show, Brian, that comes and goes, he lives in El Cerrito. He came down and we went and had sushi. Mm-hmm. And... I'm leaving there around 8 o'clock, and I get a call from Jack, and I missed it. And so I called him back. I said, you okay? He said, yeah, nobody showed up for the show, and it's the first time ever. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> wow. You know, I mean, okay, whatever. And he says, I don't know if it's Skype or somebody else. I said, somebody would have contacted you, I think. And he said, are you yeah. close to home? And I said, well, I'll be home in 10 minutes. I'll get on Skype, and we can chat. And it worked. And he said, well, I guess it's not Skype. And I said, well, you know. I don't know. People got lives uh, sometimes. Yeah, he but, called me too, but I was umpiring this. No way I could call him back. I was umpiring. Uh, yeah, but he I didn't. I told he, you he, not to give him your number. But after 20 <laughs> minutes, he gave up on doing a show. Yeah. Yeah. So, because yeah, last night I'm, sitting, you know, last night I didn't listen to the show because I, you know, had this enormous pain in my leg. Okay, yeah. that it happened, and. Uh, I got up to go post the show, um, limped in to do it, and there's no, he didn't post a show at all, and I didn't know why. So today I called him and he told me. So please, people, call him tonight, okay? I don't want to hear him. I'll call, yeah, I'm yeah. here. I'll call I'm, I'm calling, I'm here, I'm wide awake. We don't want to hear him uh, call, uh, 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 you know, Alan any more names. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, anybody see the uh, the uh, the uh, um, debate tonight? No. Really? Oh no, I forgot to watch. Did you I see? Did. It? You did? I was. I watched it. I watched well an hour of it. Then I had to get uh, ready. The for point the show. with Chris Christie. Huh? Chris Christie was very very quiet. You know, oh, DeSantis wow. was very very aggressive and very loud. Who, and uh, who, who did you say is aggressive and loud? Chris. Chris Christie, I was sort of disappointed in. Why? He was just really quiet and didn't seem like he was he was 100% there. Well, I felt that he did get kind of 100% there at a certain point. You know, mm -hmm. he, started, he started saying, this is ridiculous, you know, mm -hmm. and you people are being ridiculous. When are you going to put up with this kind of behavior from Trump, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, 
then the audience started booing him. And he, uh-huh. he said, you can boo me all you want, but that doesn't change the truth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think that when they have this kind of a debate, maybe they should have a lot of, make sure there are a number, a lot of Democrats there as well. You know, because this booing is because, you know, the people in that audience were of one mind. All they cared about was Donald Trump. Yeah. It's a cult. Yeah. I don't understand why people are in in of a of a thought to go out and defend this guy. I mean, you know, this is a guy who's been charged with ninety one charges. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now we won't say he's guilty at this point, but have you ever heard the saying where there's smoke, there's fire? You know. And you've and got to the, say, well, maybe he is, maybe he isn't, but as long as some people feel he is, maybe we should look for somebody else to run for president. And now there's a chance he can't run for president. Yeah. Because if he's been convicted of a felony, mm-hmm. and I think he already has, wasn't that rape thing a felony? Yeah, but that was a... Uh civil trial that wasn't a criminal that, trial that's right it wasn't a criminal trial okay yeah. nope statute of limitations had run out that's right criminal in new york yeah. well what happens if he starts winning all the primaries but then they hold one of these trials and they find him guilty of a felony he can't run well i don't think that's true i think the only Thing, the only thing that forbids him to run is the 14th Amendment, where if he's co- contributed to a uh, an insurrection, then he's uh, forbidden to run. You I, can actually, there's nothing in the Constitution that says you can't serve as president from a jail cell. Uh, that would be interesting. I don't think it's ever happened in history, has it? No. Well, we've never had a criminal like him in, in, in the presidency before. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, who knows? Who knows? Um, uh-uh. And uh, Giuliani got his mug shot. Giuliani, yeah. got, Giuliani <laughs> got a mug shot. All, yeah. all these guys, when they start showing their mug shots, it's, it's pretty hilarious. I, I <laughs> love, you know, the I mean, new, what? No, the news last night said Giuliani didn't have a lawyer in in Georgia. I guess he found one today. He doesn't have. Well, he doesn't have. Didn't have one. He oh, know. You know who oh, he, he got? No. Oh, no, no, no. That's the other guy. See, there's a guy that's turning on Trump. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he got rid of his lawyer, which was Trump's lawyer. And so, of course, he's not going to. Huh? I think it's the IT guy in Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. So, yeah. so he went out and got a new lawyer, happens to be the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, public defender. Yep. And he's going to turn uh, evidence, on, evidence on, on Trump. So not, not good news for Trump, I'll tell you that right now. You know. None of this is good news. And this is going to, he's going to be hopping from courthouse to courthouse. Yep. You know, uh, and the costs involved in Yeah, but this. you know something? He turns this whole thing into a uh, a fundraiser. You mm-hmm. know, he's saying, well, I'm going down there and I'm going to turn myself in because I'm going to, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm being the hero and look, they're taking advantage of me. I mean, I'm surprised that he's turned himself in and not playing a game and seeing if they'll actually send out the U.S. Marshals or somebody to go arrest him. Hmm. Well, he hadn't done it yet. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we'll see what happens. No, he's going to show up. He's going to make a big deal out of showing up. You know, here I am. I'm C, and this is a witch hunt. What? This is what a witch hunt looks like, you know. I'm a billionaire, so send me all the money to pay my legal bill. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't get that. Yeah. And these nut, numb nuts that actually send them the money. Hey, one of those numb nuts is your best friend, so be nice. Who oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sent the money, Charlie? What a. <laughs> I had dinner you know with who? What? You what? His, his BFF. His BFF <laughs> sends him money all the time. Yeah. Bill Meyer. Yeah. Bill. Bill, we had yeah. dinner with uh, Steve Fox uh-huh. um, Monday night. Very nice. You didn't invite me? 
<laughs> you're you're <laughs> welcome anytime. We went to Ruth Chris. You know. Hmm. So. See, that was before my yeah, leg went. Alan credit. He knows how to eat. <laughs> well, he, you know, he, he he wants to buy a house, and I don't get that. Because, but but he eats at Ruth Chris. It's two blocks from where he lives. Kaiser, where major medical center is two blocks in another direction. He uh, he's got Nordstrom's at the end of the street. He's got a so wait a minute. So he goes to Ruth Chris. Oh, all the Ruth, time. Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris. Yeah. He, eats he goes to Ruth's his... Chris, and then he eats a nice big steak, gets a cardiac arrest, and then is really near the hospital. It's very nice. Yes, right there. Yeah. 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 Walk right to yeah. emergency. I mean, if you go down, he's on he's on uh, the major street coming off the freeway. is called Olympic, and so his street is right there, and his apartments is right there. You go two more blocks, and you're at Ruth Chris, and another block, and you run into the Apple Store. You know, and there's Nordstrom's and Macy's, and you know why would you ever want to move out of that neighborhood? Well, you go to the and you go to the Apple Store and you buy yourself a really expensive uh, computer that you don't need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard he just did that recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, you, oh, you know what we're doing, Marjorie and I, because we're about to come into some money. We've decided that we've got to do a vacation. She wants she wants to desperately do a vacation. So what we're going to do is go to Europe and rent a villa. Oh, nice. Yeah. Post pictures, please. Huh? So post pictures, please. Yes, we will. But, <laughs> you know, I might invite some of you to come join us. Oh, no, I not you, name. Tony. Not you, Tony. Oh, all right. <laughs> I would have cooked for you. Tiny cookie. Well, I'd be, you know. Brian, you um, want to come? Can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, wherever you're going, that's fine. Yeah, you know, because what happens is I looked at these villas. Okay, you can get one for about five, six thousand a week. Okay, uh, so you get these villas, and it says, you know, it can hold ten people, fifteen people. I'm going. It's just Marjorie and I. We can't do that. So well, then we just invite a lot of people. You know, yeah. to join us there, and what the fill hell? up the house? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, fill up the house. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Everybody pay their own way, and then they get room and right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All you gotta do yeah, is pay. Oh, my your kid pay. will be gone. You, oh, good, Kevin. Terrific. No, really, I'm serious. You know, and um, um, when are you guys thinking of going? Like I don't, this I don't year? know. I don't know. Next maybe, year? maybe the beginning of next year. Yeah. You know, as soon as we get. As soon as we get this stuff, every time we decide we want to go away, all of a sudden, all this stuff happens with the apartment, you know, and yeah. people who are trying their best to give us a bad time about it, you know. Cool. So, so. As, as, as soon as we get that taken care of. Yeah. So the funny thing is, every time I want to take a trip, whenever I tell Tiffany, oh, well, let's go here, there's always something going on there. She gets mad. So, like, I want to go to Europe, but the F1 races, and I want to use key it in when the F1 races are going on, you know? So I go there, I go to the F1 race, and uh, still do a trip with her, right? Let's but go to Monaco. Like, yeah. What does she want to go? Why, what does she want to go to a foreign country for? for? She's no, already no. from a foreign country. I know. I was, I was go to Singapore and everything. So I said, oh, Singapore. Oh, yeah, they have the F1 race. And she goes, oh, yeah, you're going to go to the race. I said, well, yeah. So you the great thing is, them. if I don't tell her that you guys are going to go there, I will tell her, hey, let's go to Spain. I'll go there for the week and, you know, we just hang out and just, you know, relax. Yeah. And she'll say yes. And then we pull up to the villa and there you and Marjorie are. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I. We're going to write, there'll be a race too. <laughs> actually, I, you can actually, for about 50, 60, uh, 50 or $100,000 a year, I could rent a villa for a year. Mm hmm. But Marjorie felt she didn't want to spend a year in a villa. Yeah. And I said, can you think of a better place to spend a year? <laughs> yeah. Right. Can, can you do the show from there, though? What yeah. time would the show be? No, they, sure. have, they have Wi-Fi. Um, uh, uh, let's see here. i probably have to do it if I were going to do it this same time. Let me see here. Wow. I, I would have to do it at... Uh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Yeah, in the morning. 6 a.m. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just like the old days. 
Yeah. Well, maybe I'll change it, you know, change the time <laughs> of the show here. You know. I don't know. Why don't you stay in every Five Diamond Hotel in New York for a couple of days? Why? Because you got the money and you might as well do it. I don't Why? Know. Why would I want to stay in New York? Then you York? can you can have exactly. your show from the, this and the show, your show from that. I don't know. I'm kidding. He goes a lot of South Asia. Go to, Spain, Asia. Go to Spain. And uh, very, very inexpensive. What's that? Five star hotel. Five star hotels for hundred and twenty dollars in, in Vietnam. Really? When you when you guys when you guys are ready to go to Vietnam, Tiffany and I will arrange it and we'll meet you guys there and we do the whole thing. Well you know something? I, I know you want to go. Oddly there. enough I mentioned Vietnam to Marjorie because I hear it's a very nice place to visit now. Very, very beautiful. And they, mm -hmm. and oddly enough, in spite of the fact that how horrible we were to them, they love Americans over there, don't they? They, they love Americans. They love uh, English. When you're walking around speaking English, you have kids running, running with you, and like listening and try talking to you and stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. They like anybody with money. So you know, it's it's. Uh... But uh, there's, in fact, there was a cruise down the Mekong Delta, that I wow. saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we're looking at all those kind of things because we got to do it before I drop dead. Do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, we're going to do it big time. So, and so nobody saw really, uh, only one person saw the uh, debate tonight. Hmm. No, I watched the whole thing. Oh, did you watch the whole thing? Yeah. Uh, isn't your takeaway the same as mine? that almost what? every Republican running for president is an asshole except for Christie? Yeah, they're all freaking nuts. Mm -hmm. I knew that. I, I knew. would say I would say except for Christie and uh, Nikki Haley did pretty good. The rest of them were uh, the rest of them are complete Nikki nut Haley, cases. Nikki Haley's a cunt too. You know. No, I know, but she I thought she did well tonight. Yeah. I mean, I mean, she really I, forget about doing well, taste. doing well. I think that uh, those people are all crazy. They're all lunatics. They are. You know, they Nikki, are, Nikki Haley wouldn't say, hey, Trump's a bad guy. You know, he's been charged with all these things and we should look right. elsewhere for a candidate. She doesn't want to take that chance, you know. Um, the, the interview. No, I, I just meant, I just meant compared to one another. I mean, I wouldn't want any of them for president. Yeah, yeah. The, the, well, the interview, the, the question was uh, talking about the elephant not in the room. That, yeah. that was that was a good line. His name <laughs> came up not not till the end and not very much. Yeah, but they said let's talk about the elephant the not elephant. in the room. So they referred uh, yeah. Trump to an elephant. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so I like I, it when uh, Christie said told uh, said. We got that one guy over there. It sounds like Chat GPT. Oh that yeah. Oh funny. yes. Now that guy. That guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he's a nutcase. Well, if he's you a, if, yeah. if you just look at him, he's a very attractive yeah. candidate. Okay. Who is this? This is that I don't know Swami oh, Maserati or something. Whatever Swami, his name. Is. Whatever his name is. Oh yeah, Phil likes him. Phil likes him. He's the Hindu guy. Phil thing. likes him. He thinks he's gonna win. Oh that guy. Oh my God. I gotta I tell not. you. That yeah, guy, he told me about this. That guy, guy was mm -hmm. terrible tonight. He was just oh, he horrible. Was shit tonight. Yeah. Just horrible. Um, well, just kept saying the, you know, you do, do you want a politician in this position? You know, and then everybody else battles him. You have no experience. So the same, same He was crap Trump, but he was an Indian, really. That's really what it was from four years, uh, six years ago. Yeah. But the it, outsider. It's, you know, I mean, they were all terrible except for I like Christy. Uh, you know, but that's because Christie is taking a position that I agree with, you know, uh, yeah. and uh, he, he, I think, may not be a good Republican, but he's certainly a decent human being at this point, you know? I, I'm, not, I'm not that much of a re religious person, so when I he keep hearing God and God and God and God, and there was oh, a lot yeah. of God references tonight. That's sort of that well, makes every, me. Everybody was trying to out God everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So that's like big turnoff. Yeah, uh, Pence is like a major God dude. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yes. He probably dragged the commandments. Well, I don't up. think he. I don't think he should. He should impose his religion on us. Okay. Right? I don't mind if he's religious and he believes in his God and he goes to church every week and he's a good Christian, but don't. 
don't don't impose it on me. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I uh, totally. Yes, but you know. In watching this, I, I, I was going to say if Ray would, uh, what he thought of it. I thought Pence had the best moment when he actually was pressured under Trump to not cast those votes, and he did the presidential thing. Mm-hmm. He had the best moment right there of the night. I he was thought Pence, pressure. Pence did a hell of a lot better than I expected tonight. Well, I thought he did. He was okay. I mean, in terms of just, you know, the people on the stage, I thought he did pretty, held his own really yeah, well. I don't like his whole God thing. You know, yeah, it just makes no, me, I, I hate it. it. I'm just turning. I just think yeah, he should. Of, he should understand, as a Jew. Okay, he makes me feel uncomfortable when he does that. Wait a minute, Pence is Jewish? No, 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 no. no but well, you know, as, it makes me. It makes Christian, me. It, me. It, 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 yeah, but it makes me feel <laughs> uncomfortable. He shouldn't want to make people feel uncomfortable. Yes, you're entitled to your religion. Have a good time with it, but don't shove it down my throat. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we all understand that. That's fine. But yeah, they did. Yeah, and they should all understand that. That they don't. None of the Republicans. That's do the problem. That. But you know, any any Republican who wants to be honest and forthcoming is just going to get booed by those people. Yeah. You know, uh, and it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. I mean, there is no more conservative Republican than Chris Christie. Okay, he's never going to agree with the Democrats, but he's a decent human being in all of this, and don't boo him just simply because he doesn't like your felon, who, you know, who's yeah. running for president. I mean, what he's not supposed to have an opinion. People are not supposed to have an opinion about Trump. I mean, when he get indicted ninety-one times, I think that's the number, uh, ninety-one yeah. times. I think we have a right to kind of like question whether he should be president or not, you know, and not get booed for that. And uh, I just, you know, I those people are amazing, and and those people who are trying to play to the Trump crowd tonight just make me want to vomit. They're yeah. just proving Hillary was right. They're deplorables. They are. They are. Uh, and it's it's terrible what's 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 going on here with this whole Trump deal. This guy, this guy, they should have the minute that the first two indictments came down, they should have said, "Okay, that's it. We wash our hands of you," you know. But no, they're all fighting for him. Why? They want his base of votes. They don't. That's what they're looking for. They don't, he don't want to alienate his whatever percentage. Well, yeah, but they're trying to get a base of votes that they're trying to get away from Trump because yeah. they want those people to vote for them if they run for president. But they're not going to run for president because they're all Trump people and you've been standing yeah. up for Trump. And, oh, it's just, it makes me vomit. You know? Yes, Ray. I have a qu- what do you think about this uh, 14th Amendment thing where it says if, if anyone provides aid or comfort to anyone who... Uh, Attacks the the United States uh, that you're not qualified to become president. Have you heard about this? Yeah, yeah, I heard about it too. Oh, they yeah. said and, and uh, why why that's just like being ignored. Well, it's starting. They're starting to talk about it, but do you think it'll be enforced? Because he definitely well, uh, it says the aid, that. aid and comfort, and you have to you have to prove that he gave aid and comfort. Oddly enough, the stuff that he's well, being charged with, if I'm not mistaken, well, in, no, in Georgia, I forgot the Georgia thing, is separate from the uh, Washington thing. I'm I'm actually mixed up now on what cases where. Uh, let's see. We've got the. He bragged about giving comfort to them. He bragged about it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in that case, he, should... he got it. He got it. He. I mean, they they raided the the uh, capital. He sat there for two and a half hours and did nothing, and then he got he came out and said how much he loves them and how great they are. But it's time to go. Home. And he gave. He comforted them. He aided them. I mean, yeah. he watched it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's I don't not know. qualified to be president anymore. It is a, a terrible time in which we live, you know. Um, and uh, like, uh, look look at uh, Kevin. He's he's uh, he's taking papers of the indictment and getting them all together, and getting ready to uh, do the case against. Uh, what is that actually you've got there? 
Uh, I'm just listening and trying to make my desk look a little cleaner, that's all. Do you do that every now and then? I do that every night I come up here. I do that myself. Never gets every any night better. I will just kind of clean things up a little bit. Within and it days, doesn't get any a, better. It's a mess again. Yeah. 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 You know. And I just stack stuff up on top of the shredder, and the shredder says, why are you doing this to me? And <laughs> usual stuff. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. Anyway, sorry. No, it's okay. I was just wondering what you were, what you were uh, doing there. And it, uh, I'm constantly in awe of people who can keep everything neat and clean all the time. Yeah, me too. I want to <laughs> so badly. My whole life I've wanted to be able to do that, and I, it's so hard for me. It's crazy. Well, there's nothing like having a studio like I have. In which, I know. if you go under the table here, it's a surprise that I don't get electrocuted. <laughs> well, wires are a different story. I mean, yeah. because uh, you, you just know, cannot do it. No, but what, what happens is, let's say I say to all of you, I'm not going to be here for two weeks. I am tearing this whole studio down and then rewiring it. Mm hmm. Okay. And I do that, and I guarantee mm -hmm. you, within a month, the wires will be a mess down there. It's just, it's impossible. It's just you, impossible. I know you get the little you get the little wire gatherers. Oh and you hook yeah, them up you do you get all the little, that. You get the little the uh, little Velcro straps and you put everything yeah. together and then you forget one wire and you go shit, or you got to change something. You go crap. You got to pull them all apart just to get the one put the in wire. there, and yeah. then the other one oh it's tangled up with the other one. So you rip that one out and then all the other ones are all. Screwed I, mean, I would love to rip every wire it. out of here, every wire out of yeah. here, and reset up this studio. Yeah. You and say, when, oh, I'm I'm gonna make everything when I'm through doing that, all the wires will be a jumble. You watch. Yeah. No matter how hard you try. You can get those little things, you know, to those little plastic ties to get them yeah. all together. Yeah. And then you, you, at some point, you're going to cut them apart, you know, the little strap, because yep. uh, you've got to get in there to get one of those wires. You've know? you got a bunch of these things, these little orange wire gatherer things that you get at Home yeah. Depot and... You can take them apart and put them together, and you know it's all great. But they still come apart, and then you get you get pissed off, and you just say, "Screw it, so leave listen, them there." I, I'm gonna I tear it apart anyway. I got so many wires down here. I don't know how I initially wired this place. Yeah, like that and then you go like that. Hey, and Alex, can I ask things? you a question about that? What? Um, I've always been curious. Like when you work at a radio station in a studio that has a bunch of other, you know. Oh, by the way, people, by the way. If you go behind the desk on those places, the wires are a jumble. Even that's in a what radio I was studio. Even in a radio yeah. studio. Okay, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, and like, what if so? What if like some one of the people is a total slob and leaves crap all over the place? Like, I don't know, food or have you ever had that problem? Like, what do you mean? I was there... I was that problem. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> leave a milkshake or something laying around. <laughs> You know. And they used to smoke in the studios too, and that was even worse. Well, in the uh, old days, uh, yeah, we smoked in the studios. Yeah, yeah. When I uh, was at WPLJ, I remember I had an ashtray there, and by the end of the night, it was filled with cigarette butts. You know? So when you come in, you just got to deal with whatever you're facing there from the guy before you. Basically, yeah. basically. And they've done that. And it was always freaking night shift. Yeah. So what we would do is that uh, occasionally at some stations they would say, when you're through using the studio, spray the mic with Lysol. Oh, okay. And the reason was because they say they figured that you're talking to the microphone, somebody else is talking to the microphone, they got a cold. Yeah. And you're going to get it. Yeah. Okay. So, right, right. you know, so you may as well spray the microphone. Uh, but I well, didn't after know. After a while, the foam thing would start disintegrating because of the mic. The Lysol <laughs> yeah. would eat it up. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have a foam thing on here anymore. This new mic I have. You haven't seen the new mic because I have mine hidden away. Yeah. Uh, because I don't. I don't know. I just. I. I. I don't want you to see the mic. Your mic is in your pants. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I used to have the mic down here and on a stand, and I bought this new mic, and it's on a boom, so I can have it right in front of me, and so it's you know it's pretty good, actually pretty good. Well, let's see what else is happening. Uh, oh, so so 
what the hell is this with the uh did you see that India landed on the moon today? Yes. Oh, yeah. What wow. the hell? I didn't even know they shot something up there, those Maybe. sneaky little bastards. Yeah. yeah. You know what's hilarious about that? Is, you know, we have a lot of Indian friends, and they always have these tacky-colored things. Uh, yeah, they love it. You're like Even on their TV stations, it's like fluorescent green and stuff. And the thing that landed on the moon is like fluorescent green yeah. and fluorescent <laughs> gold and like totally tacky-looking. Little bells hanging off it. Yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah, really? I didn't even know they but shot they something up there. Well, and they, all uh, they landed it uh, on a place that, that's never been landed before. Yeah, on the South Pole. South and Pole. They think that there's but ice the down other there news was just the other day, Russia landed a rocket on the moon, but crashed. unfortunately, it crashed. Crashed. Yeah. Mm. I heard about that. Yeah. I don't know nothing about that. I and, don't know. And I have a funny feeling, Prigozhin. <laughs> I have a funny feeling, Prigozhin was in it. Yeah, yeah. it was in that one too, but I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> I was in the bathtub. Uh, I'm glad the there's crashed, you know. But this is what, the fourth country to land people on the moon? And Four. we didn't pay attention to a lot of them. The Chinese landed it how long ago? About a year ago? More than that? Yeah. yeah, I don't think the Indian in, one has any people in it. No, and neither does the Chinese neither one. Chinese. And neither yeah. did yeah, the Russian man. one, and there's us. Yeah, uh, but, I know you said people, but we have landed people on the moon. You know, I know. Well, no, that was fake. That was I fake. know it was fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all stage. Uh-huh. Yeah. All stage, man. Did you see the wind? It was wind. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. so, um, uh, they, 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 yeah, yeah, the shadow. <laughs> you didn't know that. You didn't know that, Charlie. That uh, India. No, I had no idea. Had, India had sent a rocket to the moon. Yeah, I the, didn't until today when they landed there. That yeah. was weird. Well, this is kind of getting me to believe that almost anybody can send a rocket to the moon now and land it. Yeah. Except Russia, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and Elon Elon Musk <laughs> can't do it yet. <clears throat> well, Elon right. Musk is not ready to do it yet. I know. You know, he's trying. He wants to land that big, 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 big mother rocket uh, there. You know? Yeah. Uh, and so they can be there for a while and hang out and, you know, have a place Smoke on the moon. Smoke some dubs. Huh? <clears throat> Smoke a few doobies. Yeah. 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 Um, Charge somebody for excuse it. Excuse me. I have to reposition myself here without making my. Who own owns it. the moon? <clears throat> Nobody. Uh,. Mr. Moon. So we're going to be fighting over the moon pretty soon. You know, I was thinking about that. It's funny you mentioned that because I was thinking about that today. That I think yeah. there could be eventually be a war over the moon. There because, will be because if we last that long. You know, the the Indian the Indians have landed there, and the Chinese have landed there, and we, and we haven't landed yet this time. We have been there before, but we haven't landed mm-hmm. this time. But. Uh, Were they the Mohawks or the Cherokee or what? Sorry, go ahead. None, none of these people, none of these people, are kind of admitting to it. Oh, there goes my leg. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, it, my leg gets stiff too when I. It twists a little bit. And it hurts. Um, but you know, nobody. Uh, uh, you know, the the, the it, it's just there are too many people up there that there. I don't think there can be a claim for it now. Yeah. Mar-a-Lago on the moon. Trump yeah. will become president. He will send his space force up there and claim it. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. well I, didn't we sign a treaty, a worldwide treaty at one point, Charlie, saying no yeah. one would take... Uh, no one would ta- well, well, yeah. no, that doesn't mean anything. You can break treaties. You can do that. Well, But uh, nobody was going to uh, be doing that to space. In other words, nobody was going to be empowering themselves to own space. Yeah. These are meant to be broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I, I, I think Charlie will agree with me. Uh, I don't think anybody should have the right to own space. I mean, you could own, you could say, okay, we landed on this part of the moon and we're having a base here and this is our base and uh, stay out. Okay. I think that's fair. Yeah. All right. Um, but uh, it's just, it's just, it's, you know, I can see a war being fought over the moon. 
I'm not going to be. Find what? Water somewhere. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh, especially if they find water. Yeah, then they'll fight over the water. Oh, yes. 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 In fact, they already are, <laughs> aren't they? There's some water. They're, they've found water. Really? And well, they, they think they're going to find Pole, ice in the yeah. South the South Pole where they are. They think they're going to find ice, which oh. means there's water there. Yeah. And if we have water, they can then make hydrogen, and they can then have rocket fuel. So, and it'd be easier to launch from the moon to go to Mars instead of launching from the Earth. Well, it's a it's a nicer place to take off from because you don't have as much gravity and yep. and all of those things. And uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's a, a very practical idea to use the moon as the launching point. You know. What I love that they're going to have up there is uh, we are launching a space, sta a space station to circle the moon so that when we finally go to the moon, we can use the space station as the launching point to land on the moon. You get what I'm saying? It's a very good idea, actually. But um, so we don't have to worry about it. Well, I'm through. I've got it. That's all the material I have for tonight. <laughs> We're finished a little early. Should we sign off early and see what uh, what uh, go Jack get, does go, with the time? Yeah, really. Uh, go take a pain pill. Yeah. No, I'm getting ready to after we're through here. But first I have to get up from here after the show is over, and that ain't going to be fun. <laughs> you, know. you don't have any kind of cane or, or walker? Yeah, I have a cane. No. I have a cane. Okay. Oh, hold on. Mar Marjorie's voting cane, remember? They they use that to cut in line for everything. Oh yeah, she this was the one she used. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've got a few extra I can send you. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and we used this cane and and we were able to get in voting ahead of everybody cuz she had yeah, the cane. Yes. Comes in handy. When when we were in Europe and she had the wheelchair. Oh, that was cool. Cuz when we were coming back they would just move her to the head of the line. In fact, they put her in the airplane by having a, like an elevator that went up and down mm. on the outside of the plane, and they put her in the plane before anybody else. Yeah, yeah. I told you Disneyland too. I told you this story a long time ago, but at the Frost Amphitheater at Stanford, when you had one of your comedy thing there, I think it was a record-breaking temperature one. Yeah. I went with my roller friend, who's my friend who's in a wheelchair, and we waited until we rolled up right there, like ten minutes before they let people in, and that line was so long, and we rolled right up to the front, and they let us right in. And we had some uh, alcoholic beverages in his bag that's in the back of his chair. And the guy wanted to look in the bag. And we said, oh, dude, you don't want to look in there because that's his piss stuff. And the guy said, oh, OK, yeah, just go ahead. And they let us right in. <laughs> you just put you just put a yellow tag on there. It says medicals, medical <laughs> supplies. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. See, now, if I knew you now, geez, I wouldn't have had to do that. But yeah, we, we had to do that. Yeah, well, uh, boy, uh, so it was that big a line, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I, I remember the, the front. Well, the, I remember it was, I believe, 9,000 people. And it was hot. Yeah. It I, was very hey, hot. In case you aren't familiar, folks, who are listening, I used to be a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No line. People would wait in line for hours to see me. And cheer you. And, and cheer me. Yeah, yeah and see my show <laughs> yeah um but uh yeah well, that was a great show at the frost amphitheater well you're still a big shot to us alex well thank yeah. you and that's about it all seven of you the six of you <laughs> actually six of you do i count i don't know if i count but there's uh, people watching yeah yeah another 30 30 or so yeah but um so how how's uh, Adrian? She's doing good. She's doing good. She uh, has a solo now, so she's been rehearsing that, and uh, for her dance thing. Mm -hmm. So she's uh, you know, more money for me. But I, I remind her I could have bought another car. Now, when you say she does a solo dance, is that that hoochie coochie dance she does for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> she did tell me one of their instructors were trying to teach him how to twerk. One of these guys, <laughs> but then like a whole group, not just her, like this whole group. And I said, I know Turkey. 
So yeah, so that's doing good. So second grade now, and uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. She twer is that what she's doing? Is twerking? No, 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 no. She's doing a regular song and does regular. No, because no, because what I'm saying is, if she twerks, she's being old fashioned. That's before her time. Yeah, that's before she was born. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they call it now. Yeah. They don't call it the hoochie coochie dance. Well. <laughs> no, listen. She, she's doing that's, really good. That's... She's. Hmm? She's really ahead. Of, she's really ahead of her class, you know. She's reading and writing way in advance of students, you know, her age in her class. So she's doing really good. You've got a very the hoochie coochie is charo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you've got a very smart, very talented girl there. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, and, and you know what they say: iPads and all that stuff are bad for the kids' screen time and stuff, but. For her, at her age, she's learned how to type. She learned how to how to uh, spell words and, and you know speak and not speak but read and all that stuff uh, through that. You know, and I know there's a lot of bad stuff, but I have you know I can see what she's on. I do see that she watches a lot of stuff, and and does the she, stuff that she watches. So does she try drawing on the iPad too? Uh, yeah, I, I got her a pen a little while ago. Uh, she doesn't use it that much, but she draws and colors like nonstop. She's yeah, so yeah, yeah. Lucky. That's what that's the way my daughter was. I envy the way she can type. She doesn't even have to look at it. She's doing this, and she can oh you know, yeah, she talk. She can type faster than she talks. Oh wow, yeah. And, and it's just like not even looking at it. Really, it's crazy. Yeah, mm. and that's just from you know letting her use it in the young days. She had she had one of those little tykes, you know, yeah. the little one. Yeah. We let her play with that, and then finally she started using the, the old iPads we had, and she'd start doing that. And my other daughter's the same way. She used to be able to, you know, the old text when you had to, the flip phones when you had to do three oh, yeah. letters for everyone? Oh, yeah. She could do that without looking. Oh, yeah. And she'd do this, you know, and she would text her friends in the front seat from the back seat of the car. Well, and Larry Bubbles Brown still looking. has one of those phones. Yeah, well, she she can... She, <laughs> burn those things up yeah by yeah, the way she plays these she plays these games that that'll come up and this says like uh name name a, a an animal and then you're with a, like four other people and the the longer names of those animals that you put you get points for each each letter so she learns a lot of that and she learns because she has to, like she'll do elephant cause that's long so she'll have to type elephant really fast and then she gets yeah. the score and then they'll wait and then the, the other guys get scores and then they'll ask you know name my state and then she'll do a state and then so she's yeah she learns a lot from that yeah, yeah. as long as you're monitoring and watching what they're doing well you you you're you got a you got a winner there you know uh she's uh she's a smart kid yeah. and talented too that's the other thing yeah uh, hey listen uh, i'm playing the theme and there's a reason I'm playing the theme, because if I don't, Jack Bishop will never be able to get on. So uh, let's just uh, call it a, a almost a day. Anybody have anything else they want to bring up? Uh, no? Go get some ice. Go get some ice. Yeah, I have an ice pack. Uh, but I've got to get more ice packs, you know, so there's always one in the refrigerator. I thought we had more, but I can't find them. So oh. that's the problem. Yeah, CBS has those packs. They're purple with a strap on them. Oh, okay. You so, just strap yeah, it on. But I have to walk down and get it. Well, I'll send uh, Marjorie. Amazon has send them, Marjorie. too. Marjorie. I'll send Marjorie. Amazon has I'll send Marjorie. Down. Thank you, Kevin. You oh, betcha. Love having you here. Charlie Wallace, you son of a bitch. Great having you here. Uh, Alan, <laughs> good having you here. Oh, look who's there. We... She, you know she's kind she had to of cover her ears because no, no. you said a bad word. <laughs> oh she, yeah, she's what? Did I say a bad said, word? Yeah, you said son of a something. Oh yeah. Son, oh, that's, <laughs> a, that's not a bad word. <laughs> you know. She but, heard much worse from me during the Eagles game. So. <laughs> no, what, <laughs> game. no, no so. what, what I was what I was going to say is, uh, there she is. You know, she's kind of like uh, uh, Beetlejuice. You say her name ah. three times and she appears. Yeah. Hi, Adrian. Anyway, bye. Uh, bye. Uh, and uh, Tony, thank you for being with us tonight. And thank you very much, Ray. Always good having you here as well. Everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye? And I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. 
that's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same gap net. He'll be taking your calls at Skype uh, at uh, uh, gabnet dot, uh, Gabnet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>